Hello, right, okay, so this is a bit of a different build from usual. What we're going to do is going to try and make a heat pump. Now, a heat pump is very simple, a few basic ideas. So, what we do is we use this black piping, the idea being that this is in the sunlight, it'll absorb heat and energy and warm up the liquid inside. It's quite a thin pipe we've got. Then, we use a pump to pump that liquid. And the idea is that we can use it to heat a pool outside, a small paddling pool, that kind of thing. So that's the idea. So what we've got is a pile of black pipe, a pump, and some bits of wood. And the idea is we make a little frame out of it, put the pipe inside, cover it with plastic, and some reflective material like tin foil, something like that, on the bottom. And we'll see how it works. So we'll give it a go and see whether it actually works at all because I'm not really sure on this one. There's a few different tutorials and things like that on the internet that I've had a look at to see whether it would be any good. They look like they work so we'll give it a try shall we? Should be simple enough so grab those, grab a few tools and we'll give it a try. So here we go these are the, the bits and pieces. Now I got a few screws and bits and pieces and whenever anything's cheap I buy it as well. So these might turn out to be useful because I'm not really sure how to fasten the pipe on my planks of wood yet because we need to do something like this and they need to be fastened and I'm not sure whether to do something a bit like this to hold them. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But things like this you can pick up from pound shops, things like that, always handy to have in. And also screws, I didn't buy all the right screws for this, obviously. These are just ones that I picked up from the shop. Just random bits and pieces, and we'll see how we get on with it. So that's all we need to do. A few chunks of wood, and we'll start putting it together. base fastened together like that and now we need to put the sides on like this. Now I'm going to put all of the sides on so that they're sat up on the edge like that. It's going to be a bit of an overhang at that side which we're going to be able to use to mount the pump and just join the pipe together a few things like that. So this is the bit that will be easy with an extra pair of hands and I'll need to screw that into there. So I'm going to screw from that end into this piece of wood I probably need to put a couple of long legs to make sure they fit and hold it together. So this screw's going to go all the way through and it's not going to grab much of it. So we might need a few more on this one. Make sure it holds. We'll see.
need to do the far end now. And then we've made ourselves our casing. Hey, Right, there's our basic box. What I'm going to do is put a few screws in the corners just to give it a bit more strength. But there we go, there's our basic box. We've got this nice little bit here. What I'm thinking is we can mount the pump on the edge, something like that. Hole out for the pipe in and out, maybe one on both sides. Put some reflective foil on the back there and we'll crisscross our pipe inside. We'll give that a go. Come along quite nicely actually. I'm surprised. Yeah, not bad. So, a bit of a change to plan, we're not going to put foil on there because I put tin foil, the stuff that you buy for your boasties and things like that, um, put that on the shopping list the other week saying put two rolls of that in because I need some and the missus didn't get any. Why didn't she get any? Because we had some in the house for cooking with. Didn't realise that I wanted it for this project so never mind. So I'm not going to bother putting the foil down at least this time, so I'm going to give it a go but if I were you, I'd put the tin foil down from the first time. Maybe that is. So. As you can see, this is a bit like wrestling an octopus, to be honest. So I think I'm going to have to come up with the fastening mechanism straight away, because otherwise it's going to be impossible to do. So that's the idea. Pipe goes along there. Look round, not too tight. That should do it. So we need something to hook those in. So let's figure out how we can do that now. Oh, yeah, another plan this time. I've got some of this garden entry stuff. Pretty cheap actually, you can get it on eBay for a couple of quid. That, nah, forget that, chuck that out. This, if I cut a strip of it, like this, the idea is, hook it round, like this. See? Put a screw through there, that'll hold it in, like that. Perfect. Finally, I have an answer. There we go. Right, so you can see this one's actually worked. That way of doing it looks okay. So it's just a little bit of plastic strip and a screw through it, holding it together. Now, you'll see they're not very tight that I've done. That's mainly so that I don't get a kink in the pipe and reduce the water flow, but also I don't have a huge amount of pipe. Because, let's face it, I don't know if this is going to work to, uh, to be honest with you, so let's not waste loads of pipe. Both ends comes out here, so one along that loops round, then comes along here. So the idea is, I'm going to mount the pump on here, maybe like that, I don't know, something like that. And this is 12 volt pump. So we'll mount that on there, connect it up, make sure we've got the flow right, because if you look on the on the pump, got a little flow arrow there showing us which way it goes. Make sure we've got the flow looking about right, and we'll give it a go. We'll see. We also need a plastic cover to put over the top, so we'll do that, and we'll see what happens.
right so a couple of clips on there water flow is that way so that means we suck from that and we blow out through that one pumps all connected up now what let's give it a go water's friend big battery go for a 12 volt battery on this one now to be honest no instructions came with a pump red and yellow those two common positive and negative so I'm going to assume red is positive yellow is negative in this one who knows we'll give it a try see what happens so let's bring in the other combination here it's a bucket of water what could possibly go wrong there that's a good start it doesn't even fit in the bucket try again here we go right so bucket of water ready to go that's the inlet outlet over there I better do that and we make sure it doesn't go all over the garden yeah. big battery now I've worked out trial and error that red is actually negative and yellow is positive I love these Chinese things that you get from China great imports haven't got a clue how they think it's wired up anyway so what we'll do is connect this up to positive just jam it under the cap here now you can hear it starting to work kind of tricky doing the camera work at the same time but I'll give it a go why not yeah, that's connected now you can hear it sucking definitely definitely sucking water in making a bit of a noise I'm guessing that's it priming I ain't seeing anything coming out the other end water level is definitely going down pretty quick uh, yeah my pipe's not long enough well that's sucking a load of water in there ah oh, there we go we have water okay so the pump works and looks like I've got a little bit of a leak going on there but we should be able to fix that and it works so that's working the pumps working so I reckon next video we'll see whether it actually works properly let's see what temperature we can get the water to and whether we can get a constant flow going in and out of it I think we need a bigger bucket yeah